Hey guys, Corey here from Galaxy Today we're taking a look at the Galaxy S5 just launched today versus the Nexus 5 and a quick hands on comparison of the hardware and software. So here as you can see we have both phones, the Nexus 5 which has been available for a few months with a 5 inch display and the big thing here with the brand new Galaxy S5 is the 5.1 inch 1920 by 1080 p full HD screen and as you can see here it's uh, not too much bigger as far as general size. Uh, it is slightly bigger, the bezel is slightly larger on the sides of the display, and then of course the big difference being the dedicated button for the home button, which does now house a fingerprint sensor, which is only available on a few Android smartphones, most notably in the U.S. is the Galaxy S5 and the HTC One Max, and of course with iPhone and the iPhone 5S. Do a quick hardware tour, just give you a view of the two. We have the blue model of the Galaxy S5. This will probably be carrier exclusive at some point and the general rollout will be white and black only. From what we're hearing, overall the thickness isn't too different. They're, they're both quite thin, although the new 16 megapixel camera on the rear does have a pretty big bump, which as we all know with the Nexus 5, they both have a little bit of a bump and lip there. And, uh, one other difference, as you can see here, is this is not a fingerprint scanner or an additional flash. The Galaxy S5 has a heart rate monitor. You can simply hold your finger and scan your heart rate. Uh, go ahead and wrap around the bottoms here. There's no front-facing speakers, there's no bottom-facing speakers, and instead we only have that rear speaker like familiar with all of Samsung's products. The one difference here is the bottom, and we have a USB 3.0 for high-speed data transfer, which of course has a door because this is fully waterproof IP67 certified smartphone. Again, this is Corey with Gotta Be Mobile, and this is a quick look with the Nexus 5 and brand new Galaxy S5 from Samsung.